This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 7th of December. James Spann, very interesting weather for the next five to seven days. Uh, first off, we have the potential for strong to severe storms tomorrow night. And at the end of the week, a cold rain or maybe some freezing rain. Let's take a look out the window. First off, coming from Mount Chiha, uh, sky cloudy. A little bit of rain across the state today, but not very much. It is raining up in the uh, Tennessee Valley. That's our Decatur Sky Cam, where light rain is falling. And another river shot coming from Demopolis. That's from the Demopolis Civic Center. They had the big Christmas on the river activities there this weekend. The sky mostly cloudy. And there you go, very active southern stream across the nation, very cold air in place over the northern half of the country, and that's going to set up a major winter storm all the way from uh, the mountains of Arizona up into the Great Lakes in coming days. But around here, not much rain. That's the uh, radar early this afternoon, a bit of light rain in scattered pockets, and we'll see uh, that again tonight. The rain should gradually increase, though, with time uh, tomorrow and tomorrow night. Temperatures this afternoon, 40s on the western side of the state, noticeably warmer to the east. You can see Tuscaloosa at 48, Anniston at 56. The reason for that, there's been some sunshine on over east Alabama today. There's the visible satellite shot about 1 o'clock, and you can see how we do have some thin spots to the east, but west Alabama definitely socked in with clouds. And yeah, buddy, look at that watch warning map. Winter storm watches and warnings all the way from uh, the western states, uh, Nevada, California, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, up to the Great Lakes. And boy, check out this uh, traffic cam from Flagstaff, Arizona, this afternoon. Uh, we are uh, one of our affiliate radio stations out there, and we're talking potential for up to two feet of snow. This is a big-time winter storm for early December, or for any month for that matter. And, of course, uh, we're worried more about the uh, warm sector down here. There's a look at the Day 2 Convective Outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. And there's a slight risk uh, that covers a pretty good chunk of, <clears throat> of Alabama. The guys at SPC have eliminated the Tennessee Valley, which is probably a good call because there's just no surface-based instability up there. But uh, we'll have to watch for the possibility of a few isolated tornadoes tomorrow night. The uh, parameters look very favorable. Of course, the one lacking thing, it's the instability. And we'll show you more about that in just a moment. And the QPF chart, don't forget, we're going to see a pretty good bit of rain here. This is valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. So this takes into account the rain through Wednesday and the next batch of rain that should move in here Friday night. And this is suggesting potential for about uh, one to two inches over the northern half of the state. And the amounts taper off as you head down to the southeast. Let's look. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. About 18,000 feet off the ground. There's the uh, trough coming out of the Rockies. Down below that, the surface low is developing near Amarillo, and that's going to be a big snow for parts of uh, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska. And again, that uh, heavy snow band is headed right up toward the Great Lakes, Milwaukee, and places like that. And around here, uh, a warm front seems to be pushing north, and that boundary, it looks like at midday, is near Interstate 20. And if that's right, the heaviest rain would be in the cool air north of that warm front over the northern third of the state. And just maybe we'll see a few peaks of sun down there in South Alabama. And if that's right, that would perhaps create greater instability. And there's a look at uh, tomorrow night at 12 midnight. The surface low, well under 1,000 millibars. It uh, looks like the center is 988 near St. Louis. And, of course, the trailing front. And obviously with a look like that, that's just screaming severe weather. If we have sufficient instability and the other parameters, we'll look at the uh, surface base cape. This is coming off the RPM model, the rapid precision mesoscale. And certainly that's not overly impressive, but the numbers have definitely come up since this morning. That's suggesting the instability could be up in the uh, 1,000 joule range around here at midnight tomorrow night. That is much more supportive of severe weather. Helicity values are off the chart. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer helicity, lowest level. And often when you see high numbers like that, that can mean rotating updrafts. And you can see that the numbers are just pegged out there over 360 uh, over the northeastern part of the state. So, again, we'll have to watch for signs of rotation. And look at this. This is the uh, STP, the significant tornado parameter, maxed out at Tuscaloosa. And it goes over three right there. So that is very significant. 
and the uh, Brooks Craven Index, another good severe weather uh, uh, parameter involving shear and instability, is maxed out again over west central Alabama at midnight tomorrow night. So we sure get the idea we could be burning some midnight oil. Perhaps the better chance of severe weather may be about uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow night through 3, 4 o'clock early Wednesday morning. And then by midday Wednesday, the whole thing, of course, is gone. And look at the cold air flooding the nation behind that storm, and it will be very shallow as it gets in here. Now, Wednesday, we'll probably be in the 60s. The cold air's not in here yet, but we go to Thursday, and it is getting in here. And I don't think we get out of the mid-40s on Thursday. And remember, this the thickness values you're seeing are from 1,000 to 500 millibars. The low-level thickness values suggest it's going to be pretty cold Thursday and Friday. And here comes the next impulse. Friday night at midnight, here comes the rain. And, uh, you know, I'll just tell you up front, we, as we often say, let's get past this thing tomorrow and tomorrow night. Then we can focus on this one. The uh, Let me show you the uh, 850 temperature prog at uh, midnight Friday night. And the zero degree line is near Nashville. And that would be your rain snow line. So... If anything happens here, more than likely it's going to be freezing rain. That's where temperatures are below freezing at the surface and it's raining. And that can create some icing. We're not confident enough in that to even mention that right now. Just be aware the idea is just kind of there. And then Saturday at midday, this run much slower. It's got rain continuing well into the day Saturday. And, uh, of course, we should slowly warm uh, that day. So just a cold, rainy day Saturday, if this is right. And then Sunday, that rain is gone, and the sky becomes partly sunny, and it's still pretty chilly. And a week from today, Monday of next week, looks dry and cool. Now, later in the month, you know, this is the uh, Arctic Oscillation. Look at the thing spike negative. I mean, it's almost off the chart at mid-month. And often with a strongly negative AO, you get a flood of very cold air down here. Uh, so let's look at modeling. Uh, this is the 20th of December, and sure enough, there's a western ridge and eastern trough, and very cold. How cold? Will there be snow or any ice issues here? We don't know that yet. Just the idea is, is pretty good that that might happen. And then at the end of the forecast, this is Christmas Eve Eve, December 23rd. Looks chilly and dry, but of course we don't even want to get into specifics. We're just kind of looking out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.